Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. I'm making this video because I want to talk about certain things that viewers don't understand. There are a lot of assumptions out there that have come my way that I felt it important enough to address this because some of the things that are being said and some of the things that are assumed what is happening behind the scenes of this channel. I'm not speaking on behalf of anybody else because honestly, I don't know what anybody else is doing, but I'm talking about this channel and me. I am a one-man show. I don't have a cameraman. I have a tripod. I don't have an editor. That's me. I come up with my own ideas, although I do get a lot of suggestions, very much appreciated by the way, and many times I make videos based on those suggestions. I don't work at a gun store. The, the guns that I feature primarily are mine and I often borrow guns to do certain reviews and comparisons. If there is one thing I've learned throughout the years is that if somebody owns a particular gun and I'm doing a comparison and at the end I don't choose their gun, I lose a lot of subscribers. People are very fickle if you don't choose their gun. And they may say something like, well, how much did you get paid to say that? You know, you, you once gave this gun a good review and now you're choosing this other gun. How dare you? And, it, you know, I have to tell you something. When I do comparisons, which I love doing, by the way, I think it is so cool to compare two guns and get feedback and everything else like that. That generates attention and people tend to like it. And I enjoy doing it. So it, it has really benefited me as a content creator. I think it's beneficial to the viewers because they get to see various guns and so forth. But I don't care. At the end of the day, when I choose one over the other, I've never gotten paid for that. That makes no sense. That would be so unethical for a marketing director of a firearms manufacturer to contact and say, hey, how come you chose that other gun over ours? That's never happened before. Actually, quite the opposite. They intentionally would never say anything out of fear for somebody making a video saying, can you believe that Glock, for example, contacted me and said I should have chose her? They wouldn't go to that level, nor would anybody expect them to. So when I hear, well, you're getting paid for that, as if everything on here is financially driven. From the very beginning, Every piece of content that I've ever made was for the viewer. I think that's pretty standard across the board. People want to reach their audience. To play to a manufacturer and say, I'm only going to do... Now, I'm not talking about a new release. There are new releases. Sometimes they get sent my way. I will take it out prior to its launch. That's different, but I've never gotten paid for that. I get paid from AdSense. Now... If you remember back when all the gun channels got demonetized, and a lot of channels across YouTube got demonetized, the only form of income during that time was Patreon. And if I was so inclined to turn this into a money factory, everything coming in, I would have opened a Patreon. Do you see a Patreon here? I've never had a Patreon. I've been so fortunate to have people say to me, hey, what is your Patreon? Because I will donate. And I said, I don't want, I don't want your money. All I want is your view and potentially your like. And if you really love me, you'll share the video on another platform. But that's all that I ever ask for. And so it's not all money driven. And I don't get paid to choose a particular gun. I don't care. You know, like the guns that I, I like, I own all these guns, and I'm fortunate to have those. But to, to say, well, at the end, I need to choose this one because of this reason. I choose to want, like, you have to ask yourself, what, do you want my honesty? You know, I am one man. And if, if you disagree with that opinion of one man, then you disagree with it. If you agree with it, then you agree with it. But that's what drives the conversation. And that's what makes it fun. So I wanted to clarify that. I wanted to set the record straight. You know, when you, you, you see these people and everything's financially driven, you know, I will say this. You lose money. With a gun review, you lose money. Considering the cost of ammo and everything else and time, the, the time is unbelievable. And there is probably no other 
content creator, at least in the gun world, that is as more responsive in the comment section as I am. I try to get to as many comments as I possibly can. I used to get to 100% of them. Now, probably 65-70% of the comments, I respond. And people ask, like, some of the things that people ask, they're like, they're very personal things, and I don't always answer everything personal because I don't want my whole life out there on the internet. Enough is out there as it is. But these are things that, that viewers don't understand. They think everything is financially driven. Is it nice to get a few bucks back? Heck yeah. You lose money on gun reviews, especially if you do what I do and go to the range and show all this stuff. Now, to do this cost me nothing. I can stand in front of my safe and just talk about, come up with a subject and talk about it, and it wouldn't cost anything other than a little bit of time. But I am a one-man show. I try to do my best, and I will continue to try to do my best because I maintain that this is the best and most educated and fun audience on the web. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.